Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this custom front bumper for my 98 Toyota Tacoma. My first step was heading over to Flatland 4x4 and buying some basic plans. Using Fusion 360, I was able to remove the hole for the winch and add two of my own for the turn signals. Then it's on to the plasma table. At some point this truck hit a deer, which is why I'm building a new bumper in the first place. To get started, I pulled off the old turn signals, bumper, and grill. Next up is breaking the nuts loose on the frame end caps, as I will be using the same mounting holes for the new bumper. You can see this one is sort of facing the wrong direction. That's also the deer's fault. My first attempt at straightening it out was to weld one side in place and bend it back, but the whole thing ended up just snapping off. So attempt number two was just to bend it back in the vise and weld it back in place. I ended up welding and grinding both sides just to add some extra strength. Some underbody paint would have been a good idea here, but hindsight is 2020. After cleaning up the frame and putting on the first two pieces, I noticed that they were far too short and I ended up having to cut a new set. For the main cross member, I used a piece of 8th inch wall, 2 inch square tubing that was cut down to size, and will be mounted right about here. I used an end mill to drill the bolt holes because I wanted them to have a very accurate midpoint. The other side of the holes will need to be large enough to fit a socket, so I trace one out and plasma cut the hole. Once that's bolted on, it's time to do some tack welding. For all the front panels, I just marked the center lines of everything and lined them up as best as possible. It was here that I noticed everything was about 2 inches lower than I wanted, so I ended up cutting the whole thing off and moving it up. That's why you tack weld, kids. I didn't have anyone to help me at this particular time, so I used an engine hoist to line the panels back up. This worked surprisingly well. And now some more tack welding, this time featuring painter's tape. and we've replaced the painter's tape with my dad. And everything is completely tacked together. It's looking a little bit bulkier than I would like, but I think I could live with that. So it's time to take it off and do the finish welds. You can see a gap was created from when I moved the bumper up a few inches. To add some extra strength, I welded in a piece of flat stock. For the final welds, you can see I am jumping around a lot, and that's because I'm trying to be conscious about the heat and where it's going, to avoid warping the bumper too much. I welded full length beads on every joint, inside and out. I want this thing to be strong. On the outside edges, I used an angle grinder with a sanding disc to shape the lines. For the last step before paint, I wanted to fill the pinholes and get an even cleaner line so I rubbed on some glazing putty and sanded it down. Once everything is cleaned up, it's time for some flat black primer. And to finish it, I use some semi-gloss black using an HVLP spray gun.
After bolting it on, the last step is to wire up the new turn signals. And she's done! Although a bit bulky, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. And I even made one for a friend. And of course, the more light bars you add, the better it looks. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the project. If you feel I've earned it, feel free to hit that subscribe button or check out another video.